yesterday All my troubles seem so far away Now it looks as though they're here to stay Drew here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com uh, playing Yesterday by the Beatles, Paul McCartney, epic vocal performance and great song. So I'm going to be taking you through the chords um, so that you can sing it and also demonstrating the rhythm. Um, so if that's what you're looking to do to sing it like I just did then this is the lesson for you. So we're going to get started, but before we do, we're just going to talk about a system so we know we're using the right fingers, strumming the right strings, holding down the frets, etc. So um, I label the fingers index, middle, ring, and pinky, so that's pretty obvious. Um, and with the frets, so this would be fret number one, two, three, and four. So these bits of metal divide the frets. And the strings, I use a lettered system, so uh, I believe the numbered system is a little bit complicated when you start talking about numbers here and numbers here on the fretboard. So it's Eddie 8 Dynamite Goodbye Eddie, uh, that's the actual names of the notes, E A D G B E, okay? Uh, so if I say put your um, ring finger down on the A string, it's going to be um, there, okay? Cool, on the third fret would be there. So, actually, speaking of which, that's where we need to start. So the first chord is a C chord. Now I'm going to be showing you how to play it. If you know how to play it, pop it down. So you take your index finger and you put it on the first fret on the B string. You take your um, middle finger, skip the G string, go up to the D string, hold down the second fret there. And then finally your third finger comes over onto the A string on the third fret. That's your C chord. Cool. And with the C, we give it a strum from the bottom five strings, okay? You can use your thumb. In fact, the thumb would sound really nice in this, or you can use a plectrum as well. We strum from the bottom five. Okay. And also, as I go along, I'm going to be talking about the measure. Now, the measure is how many beats we hold each chord. Really, really important if you want to be a successful musician to understand the rhythm as well as how to do the chords, okay? So we go one, two, three, four. Now you may have noticed at the beginning of the video, I strummed and tapped three, four. So the strum and then tapping three times. Okay, you can tap, you can um, tap your foot, or you can get yourself a metronome. Um, I'm gonna include a link at the bottom of this uh, to my toolbox page where you can um, find a link to get yourself a metronome. Um, and a metronome, we're just gonna be setting it to 76 BPM, that's the speed of the song. And that's going to be on the first click, so it's going to be one, two, three, four. So I'm going to be telling you the measure for each chord as we go along. Um, so let's move on. The next chord is a B minor seven. Now, this is played as a bar chord, but don't get too uh, worried about that, okay? Um, with a little bit of practice, your bar chords can really start to sound good, and this is a good song to start practicing them too. So we're going to be changing to a B minor 7. What you're going to do is you're going to take your index finger and you're going to press down the bottom five strings, okay? So that's the E, A, D, G, B, and E. You're going to press that down on the second fret. Then your middle finger is going to come down and hold down the B string on the third fret. And then finally, your third finger, this one here, uh, sorry, your, your ring finger, is going to be holding down the D string on the fourth fret, okay? And that's your chord. Bring your thumb around the back of the guitar to help you press down with your bar chord. It will feel kind of weak at first, but press in, all right? And press as hard as possible with this finger, okay? If, if, you, if you're new to bar chords, that is. Press down nice and hard. Make sure that these fingers are bridging over the string so they're not flat like this, or you're gonna get muting, all right? And strum the bottom five strings. Okay, that's the chord you're looking for. So that's called a B minor seven. And we're holding that for two beats. One, two. Then we're gonna to change to the next chord. 
So, so far we've got C, 2, 3, 4, B minor, 7, okay? Now that change there, what I'm doing is I'm coming from C, I'm flattening down my finger and bringing these fingers down. Notice they're already apart by two frets, so keep them that way as you make the change. Flatten finger, fingers down, like this, okay? Practice that as much as possible. That's one of the most challenging chord changes in the whole song. Just happens to be at the beginning, okay? Right, next we're going to an E7, okay? So in E7 we take our index finger, hold down the uh, first fret on the G string, right here, okay? And index finger coming onto the second fret, sorry, middle finger onto the second fret on the A string. And for this chord, you're strumming the, all six. All right, with the B minor seven, you strum just the bottom five, but it's the E seven, all six. Okay, so we're going B minor seven to E seven, two. So we hold E seven for two. Then we're changing to an A minor. Quite a simple change from our E7. I'm always going to be showing you the best way to change from chord to chord because that's extremely important if you want to be a fluent guitarist. So we're going to be moving this finger down to the B string on the first fret and middle finger is going to be coming onto the second fret on the D string and third finger tucked underneath, sorry, ring finger tucked underneath on the second fret. That's an A minor, okay? Now the A minor, we're holding for three beats, okay? So we're going one, two, three. Then we're gonna to change to a G. So, so far, I've got this. One, two, three, B minor seven, E seven, A minor, two, three, G, F. So I'll do that next part. So a G, this is your A minor, the change to G. Move this middle finger up, to the A string on the second fret, then lift up your third finger, bring it up and hold it onto the th um, third fret on the thickest string, this one's on the second fret, third fret on the thickest string, and then pinky coming down onto the third fret on the thinnest string. And with this G, we're gonna be playing it for one beat and strumming all six strings. Then we're gonna be changing to an F chord, okay? An F chord. It's, I'm going to teach you the mini bar version. Um, there's, there's a few different versions out there, but this is uh, kind of in between. It's not totally beginner, it's, uh, it's kind of in the middle. So take your index finger, press down the bottom two strings, so that's the E and the B string, and we're going to be pressing those two strings down on the first fret with your index. Middle finger holding down the second fret on the G string, okay, and the ring finger is stretching over to the D string on the third fret. And with this chord, we strum the bottom four. And we're gonna hold it for two. I'll do a recap of all the measures for the chords in just a second. So it's two, one, two, then back to G. So this is the reason why I taught you G this way. So it's a very quick, easy change from F. You move your fingers up. So middle and third finger up, back to G. You should know how to do that. But from F, here we go, to G. Look how easy that is. If you're gonna do it like this, look at all that movement, okay? Too much movement. So just move your fingers up, G, holding for two, and then C, holding for four. So that's a good place to start showing you the measures, like how many beats we've got so far. So it's C for four beats, B minor seven for two, E seven for two, A minor for three, then G for one, then F for two, and G for two. Notice I'm keeping, um, I'm counting those beats by doing what's called a ghost strum, so I'm missing the downs. So I'd be going one, two, if I was doing the G there, okay? And then we just went back to C at the end of that and we hold the C for four again. So that's down, miss, miss, miss. Okay, getting there, keep up, well done. All right, so to the A minor, this is the C, okay? We're gonna change to an A minor now. Really easy change, okay? Lift up your third finger, leave these two where they are, don't move them, okay? It's an easier change if you do it like this. This is how the pros do it, so don't move these fingers. Just bring that third finger underneath and hold down the second fret on the G string, okay? So that's changes back to A minor, which we hold for two. Then we've got a new chord, which is a D7. Now a D7, 
from the A minor, I'm always going to show you how to do the best transition possible. We're going to move, we're going to lift up, no, sorry, we're going to move the index finger. No, we're not. <laughs> Start again. Leave your index finger where it is. Move your middle finger down to replace where your um, ring finger was. So you're on the second fret now on the G string. And then your third finger, sorry, ring finger, <laughs> holds down the second fret on the E string. Okay, so this is A minor and the change is there. So you leave this finger where it is. And for D7, you strum the bottom four strings. Okay, so it's A minor to D7 to. Then we're back to F. So from there, this index finger is already pressing down on one string. It just needs to press down on two and then bring the others over. We're going to hold down our F, strum the bottom four strings for two beats. One, two, C. Two. Now we haven't done that change yet, so F to C. This is your F. It's quite an easy change. You move these fingers up the strings, so you're on the A string on the third fret, D string on the second fret, and then you take the bar away so you're not pressing down two strings, and you hold down the first fret on the B string. Uh, yeah, B string. And you strum the bottom five because it's a C. Two, then we do C again, and C again. Okay, that's your verse, all right? So I'm just gonna count all the beats and get to the end of the verse with you, and then we'll have a look at the chorus. So it's C, two, three, four, B minor seven, two, E seven, two, A minor for three, two, three, G for one, F for two, and G for two, C for four, two, a minor, one, D7 for two, F for two, C for two, and then C again for two, and C again for two. And then if it was the song, you'd then be repeating, so you go back to C for four, so you hold C, um, you hold the C chord for quite a while at the end there, all right? Um, good, so that is your verse. Now let's get into this chorus, okay. So we've got another new chord. So it's a good song for learning your chords. Um, there's quite a few different changes and quite a few little variations, which is awesome. So we're gonna be changing from C to E once we do that second verse, the repeat. So this is your C. To change to an E chord, you're going to lift up these fingers, move this index finger up one string. So you're on the G string on the first fret. Middle finger is gonna come and hold down the second fret on the A string and our ring finger is going to tuck underneath on the second fret on the D string. And for this chord, we're going to strum all six. And we're going to hold it for two beats. So it's one, two. We're going to change to an E7 after that. We've actually had that chord earlier in the verse. It's the easiest change, guys. All you've got to do is lift up that finger. So you just lift up your third finger. So this is your E, E7. Strum the bottom, uh, all six again. So it's E, E, two, E, seven, two. Then, all chords you know, okay? So it's A minor, G, I've shown you that change. We're holding all these beats from now on for just one for this bar, for these next four. Okay, so it's A minor, G, F, A minor. Okay, so I'll go from the E again to put it into perspective. One, two, E seven. Then A minor, G, F, A minor. Do that again. E, E7. A minor, G, F, A minor. So there's quite a few changes there. That's the first time in the song we have ever sort of changed every beat. So you're changing, holding everything for one, okay? We're then going to a D minor sixth, okay? So let me show you how to do that one. You put your index finger, so let's, let's go from the chord we're, we're leading from. So we've just played that A minor, and we're gonna to change to a D minor six. So what we do is you take this index finger, put it down onto the first fret on the thinnest string, so you just move it down. And then, from your A minor chord from here, all you need to do is just lift up, um, sorry, I'm sorry, lift up your middle finger. Okay, so this is A minor. So to do the change to the next chord, you bring this finger down and lift up, um, lift up that finger. Okay, 
So you should be holding down the, um, sorry, no, you lift up that finger, your middle finger. You should be holding down the third fret on the, uh, sorry, the second fret on the G string with your index finger. I said, ah, with your ring finger. There we go. Okay. So that's your next chord and you strum the bottom four for that. All right. So it's A minor. That's your next chord. And then, so you're holding that chord for two beats, and then we're nearly done. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take, leave this finger where it is, we're going to change to a G7, we're going to bring our middle finger up to the second fret on the A string, and we're going to bring our ring finger up to the third fret on the E string, and we're going to strum all six. So what happens in that change from the D minor six to the G7 is this finger doesn't move, okay? It just stays where it is. So leave it there and then just move these up. G7 for two beats. And then back to our good old C. So we're gonna see again. So let's do that whole chorus, okay? So we've got E, E7, A minor, G, F, A minor, D minor six, G7, C, C, and then in the song what happens is he repeats that chord sequence, they repeat that chord sequence, so it goes back to E, E7, A minor, G, F, A minor, D minor 6, G7, and C, C. And that is all the parts for you to be able to play the song, so that's all of them, okay? Um, that is the end of the lesson, and thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed my teaching style, enjoyed the way I've broken it down, then you can go to learnguitarinlondon.com and there is loads of videos there for intermediate players, beginners, uh, and there's lots of lessons on riffs and techniques. So just take a look at the website. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I promise I can talk properly in my other videos. And um, thanks very much for watching. Let me know um, if you enjoyed it. Take care, bye.